uh, one of the most common things is, you know, today people's digestion is just a mess. Uh, I'll give you an example. They take um, the sausage industry in the United States, okay? We don't use, you know, pig intestine would be what you normally use for sausage, correct? Okay. Uh, your pigs here in the United States, uh, they can't use the intestinal material from pigs in the United States to make sausage. Reason being is the GMO food that they're, the GMO soy and GMO corn that they're feeding pigs in, in uh, feedlots uh, are causing such a thinning in their their intestines. Their intestines are literally thinning so that the, the amount of cells deep there are thick that their intestines would normally be is reducing and reducing and reducing. And they can't pack anything into those intestines. They just burst open. Also, pigs, uh, a, a large amount of pigs in feedlots being fed GMO corn, GMO soy, have to be slaughtered before their, their intestines rupture and they bleed out. Okay, so I'm telling you this because if you're eating the standard American diet, you're eating GMO soy and you're getting GMO corn. It's, it's in the foods, you know, just in regular food. If it's doing that to pigs, guess what it's doing to you? Okay, that is damaging your digestive system and causing the the intestinal wall to thin. Now as that happens, it's easier and easier to develop what we call leaky gut. And leaky gut is where the intestinal wall gets inflamed and it swells up and the, the tissues separate and they, they become more permeable. So instead of being tightly knit like this and the, the you know, only small things can get through, they swell up and bigger particles can float through the, the gut. That's what we call leaky gut, okay? Leaky gut leads to um, autoimmune disorders, it leads to immunodeficiency, it leads to uh, food allergies, it leads to environmental allergies, it leads to chemical sensitivities. There's all anything inflammatory, okay? Leaky gut will lead to inflammation in your body, period. So with, with the the digestive tract being tore up and irritated the way it is, we got to remember that 85% of the serotonin and the dopamine that your body produces is produced in your gut, okay? If the gut is not healthy, an impairment in the, the production of those two hormones occurs. Okay, so those two hormones, their production gets messed up and the not only their production, but the consistency of those, the production of those hormones gets messed up, quote unquote, messed up, a real medical term here. <laughs> but when that happens, you may get uh, a surge of dopamine without enough serotonin, or you may get a surge of serotonin without enough dopamine, or you don't get enough of either, or you get too much of both happening because of the dysfunction in the gut.